The pitch. The center fielder. Aaron. Judge rips that one. Way back there. And it's gone. Aaron Judge leaves the yard. And they add a run. It's 3-1. And now, Alec Manoa. Now batting, the pitcher, Alec Manoa. Alec. The pitch. Now one and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Reynolds under it. Puts it away for the out. So the lineup flips over. Here's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. Way high. One ball, one strike. That misses off the outside edge. The count is two and one. Left hand hitter waits. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And the pitch. Ruth under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And here's Corey Seager to hit. On the ground, right side. Inning over. Here comes a pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And now the 1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The 2. Stays alive. Foul ball there. These guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Hey. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Reynolds stands in here, takes ball one low. Left hand batter waits. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, George Brett. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. To the batter now, Frank Thomas. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. New pitcher on now, Andres Munoz. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs. Well, we go bottom six. Now the left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. No left fielder. 
Thomas handles the chance. Oh, and one now. Smash to the left side. And that's just foul. Next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. And now David Ortiz. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. Marte relayed a second, but he's in there easily. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Soto, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Ortiz over at second, one down. And down on strikes. And two away now. Jimmy Fox digs in now. And that one hops the wall. And it's second, no play. And a run comes in to score. Now it's Devers at the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch misses inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. And a 2-1 on the way. And that's in for a strike. Right through there, got him. Good job. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Now it's going to be Babe Ruth. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. De La Cruz. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Hit hard. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Clemente at second with two down. In the air, left side. Stanton is there. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Here is Aaron Judge. And he deals. There's a strike. Britain, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against it. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control and command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one-two. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That one on its way. Out of here. Aaron Judge blasts one out the opposite way. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 6-1. 
So they turn to a bat off the bench for the pitcher, Gary Sanchez. In there for strike one. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Next one is off the play, and the count is even two and two, and a pitch. You got a full count. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way, and gone. Gary Sanchez hits one out, and they boost their lead. It's 6-1. It's so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's always impressive to me when someone jumps in there and hits it out. It's a huge lift for your ball club as well. Here's Nolan Gorman. Now Reynolds makes the play and there's one away man that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process he did everything right right there nothing to show for it but in your mind you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat at the belt and fires and he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. Fouls one off, two and two. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in the long ball threat, Giancarlo Stanton. And that one pulled foul. Now the 0-1. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Towering home run from Stanton. And they add a run. It's 8-1. David Ortiz now at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the 0-1. Slapped foul. The 0-2. In the air, left field. Pulls up, and it drops for a hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just... Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Juan Soto goes deep. And they tack on to their lead. It's 10-1. And here is Jimmy Fox. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to their lead. It's 11-1.